So I've got the pleasure today of lecturing at my alma mater, a place where I got uh, my degree, uh, Texas Wesleyan University. And I'm, I'm, it's lunchtime, so I went for a walk around the campus. And this is a funny thing. So I'm a, I'm a quite nostalgic guy. And in this building is where, uh, in a lot of ways, I could even say my solution-focused journey started. I was taking a human development class, you know, look, young 18-year-old kid, freshman in college, taking a human development class. And I remember uh, we were talking about reproduction, you know, human development starting at the, the point of conception and, and we were talking about reproduction and they showed like the inside of a woman's reproductive organs and the sperm swimming towards the egg and the egg being fertilized and being released and floating down the tube and getting stuck on the side of the wall. And the whole process related to being, uh, to becoming pregnant. And I remember watching that video and thinking in order for a person to get pregnant, like, nine miracles have to happen in a row for a pregnancy to successfully happen, let alone uh, be carried to term. And uh, as an 18 year old kid, I was watching this and I said to my professor, like how amazing it was that any human being gets born. And the professor said, yes, Elliot, that's why you should never forget every human you meet is the result of a miracle. Every person you meet is a walking, talking miracle. And um, I, I never forgot that. And now as I'm walking around the campus uh, teaching about salute folk grief therapy today, it reminds me that, for example, when we ask the miracle question, not only is it important that you word the question appropriately in terms of the miracle question and, and, and you know, suppose when sleep at night and a miracle happened that solved your problems when you woke up the next day, what would you notice? Or whatever iteration you want to ask, it's also important that you remember that the person you're talking to is a miracle who is capable of more miracles because if you don't ask from that perspective then the question is just a question so i want to really encourage you and i, I want to really uh implore you to treat every single client as if they are walking talking miracle because it's going to make your work as a solution focused therapist more uh, efficient more effective and it's going to make your languaging of the miracle question and all of the questions actually associated with solution focused brief therapy is going to make them more congruent because again it's not just important that we use the techniques it's also important that we have the proper mindset as we use the language associated with these questions so never forget that your client is a walking talking miracle who is capable of more miracles and it's going to influence the way you talk to them and it's going to influence the way you ask them the miracle question so Carry that with you and remember everybody you meet from this point forward is a walking, talking miracle and treat them as such. Thanks for watching this video. Please give me a like, give me a share, leave a comment. I love hearing and interacting with people in the comment section and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And never forget, you are just one question away from making a difference in someone's life. I'll see you soon.